Hey, everybody. Industry expert Glenn Hausman here. I'm so excited and delighted that you could join us. Every once in a while, we like to talk about topics that are a little bit different, not just the hospitality industry directly, although it really is the hospitality industry. Why? Because we're going to be talking with the folks over at Samsung today about the hospital room of the future, connected care, and how all of this stuff works. Even talking about bringing a little bit of the hospital life at home. So we got with us the one and the only Mr. Incredible, Ken Honeycutt. Ken, I love what you guys are doing over at Samsung Healthcare. Interesting, innovative, and a lot of fun too, how you're utilizing technology to improve people's lives. Thank you. Thank you, Glenn. And thanks for having me back. It's always fun to be on your show. So thanks so much for that. You know, I think you you, you did a little foreshadowing there. You know, yeah. I the high tech conference is kicking off this week. You know, I'm reminded how other industries, and especially that of hospitality, influence uh, customer or consumer preferences, specifically in design of healthcare facilities. And I'll bring up a couple, right? So it's not just about the patient room. It's actually as you arrive at the, at the hospital. So it's a new trend that we're witnessing is self rooming. So wait, wait, wait. self rooming? Exactly. So you as a patient can actually show up at the hospital and go straight to your patient room. Oh, sounds like a hotel, Ken. That's exactly right. So those are the cues that we're seeing from the hospitality sector with mobile check-in and mobile keys. I did it myself just last week. I mean, it's a fantastic way to kind of bypass the process and you know the front desk that's oftentimes stacked up, especially during labor shortages right now. Right. So it's a huge patient satisfier. It does. Ken, also, I mean, if you're going to the hospital, it's not typically like going away on a leisure vacation. You're not looking forward to it necessarily, unless maybe it's a particular type of elective surgery. But other than that, it must be great that you don't you could get yourself separated from all the stress of the paperwork and all of that and the waiting and the feeling all anxious, right? Oh, of course. Yeah, I think it just is this kind of slip shot right into the patient room. It does require some engagement early on in terms of you know pre-admission prior to your arrival. Right, Just right, right. Sure you got your insurance information, all that information squared away. But once you're at the facility, you can go straight to your room and they will actually point you directly to your room and you can go right there. That's so Ken, you get there. How are those rooms starting to change? Maybe not necessarily today in fall of October, 2021, but the next three to five years, how are, how are hospitals going to be adapting to what you're thinking they should be doing to improve customer service, make that experience better, and to just kind of smooth out operations? Yeah. So for the business, for Samsung, you know, I'll talk about that to begin with, and I'll roll into other ancillary products. Uh, you're seeing larger TVs, right? So, you know, it's not, no longer acceptable to put a 32-inch TV with terrible cable into the patient room. Their life experience at home their life experience out in the hospitality world tells them that they need or want something better. And those typically have over the top apps like Netflix or YouTube or Hulu or others that are out there. So we're seeing more and more of that from a patient experience perspective or what I'll call positive distraction. So right, I love that. I love that notion of positive distraction because quite frankly, if you're in a hospital bed, you're in a hospital bed. It's not like you're going out mountain climbing and doing all these other activities and coming back. So that television is really the focal point of everything in the room, right, Ken, in terms of also maybe how you communicate with the, with the hospital and get information as well? It is. So I liken it to a prism, right? So if, if you visualize a prism, everything's kind of coming through that portal through that display. So that is the ability to extend services like that of uh, dietary interfaces, to be able to select your meals when you want it, in the quantity that you want it, as long as it stays within your dietary code. Oftentimes you're admitted to the hospital, it's not you know, right the right time to have a meal. So it's really important to do that. And as well as you're gonna see you know, other service lines be able to provide services like that of you know, cleaning the room, environmental services will be able to be queued up and be able to request to come clean my bathroom or clean my room. Those types uh, of so, uh, you know, I'm, I'm picturing myself in bed and I'm tired and I'm just watching TV. Uh, I have a feeling voice control, since I'm using it at home in hotel rooms already, is probably going to be an, an important element here as well. Yeah. So I would tell you um, back in 2019, when we went to high tech in Minneapolis, right. that was the trend in hospitality. And typically what takes place in hospitality follows in healthcare by about two years. We are now seeing the voice controls of being able to handle things like shades, blinds, temperature controls, oh, lights. Awesome. 
That is really fascinating to me and so interesting because when you're using those voice controls and they connect to parts of the room, you're actually helping save labor too, taking a lot of man hours that would spend closing shades, opening shades, right, Ken? You don't have to worry about any of that anymore. No, absolutely. That, that, that absolutely takes the onus off of the clinical staff and can put it back on the patient or their loved ones or caregivers. Yeah, it sure does. All right. So one of the things that I'm seeing is more people either coming to the hospital and leaving real quick, which I think is great, or just, um, you know, convalescing, as they used to say, at home. How is, uh, you know, Samsung helping create that hospital at home to make people feel safe and secure in their own environment when it comes to their health? Yeah, so this is a trend that we're seeing uh, being adopted and actually getting reimbursed by Medicare, Medicaid and by some private insurers where a hospital at home, oftentimes post-discharge, uh, they'll allow a patient to be able to recover and heal um, after being discharged. You know, the average duration or length of stay at a hospital is, is significantly down from even a year or two ago. So we use technology like remote patient monitoring. So it could be the vital signs and vital devices that can remit that information back along with, you know, telehealth, telemed solutions that are out there. So it can actually provide much of the same clinical quality and safety as what they receive in an acute care setting and wow. prefer. So um, you're able to connect with uh, with doctors and other uh, medical professionals through a system and just be taken care of at home. Absolutely, yeah. So that we have an ecosystem of partners that we enable uh, our technology through. So it allows them to monitor and be able to receive, I'll say, preventive alerts that says this patient's particularly trendy and uh, in a direction that is not good for their health. And right. we can provide that, full, pull that forward instead of having alert fatigue uh, to the clinical staff. How much does the health customer push this forward? Because I feel like all of us are getting more demanding about every aspect of our life and our healthcare in particular, I would think is one of those places uh, rife for uh, pushes from the people who are getting treated um, out there. So how are you seeing that? You know, I think that most people want this inherently. They want to be able to go right. home and recover within, you know, in their own bed or, or their own easy chair at home. I think a lot of people don't know about hospital at home at this point. I think it will become a more widely known practice as health systems bring this online. And some of the more progressive academic marquee institutions were really early on, like that of Johns Hopkins and others, to bring this to, to bear. And it's, you know, it has yielded positive results, both from a financial perspective, as well as clinical and business drivers. Yeah, I was just thinking from a financial perspective, because it's pretty expensive to have these massive buildings. But if you could have a certain percentage of customers at home, yes. that's where they want to be anyway. It lowers your expenses while simultaneously raising customer satisfaction. Absolutely. Definitely uh, agreed. That is uh, that is fantastic. So, um. I'm seeing, I'm thinking that a lot more major companies are starting to get more proactive about, uh, you know, healthcare and how um, people are thinking about healthcare. How are you seeing that out there in the in, in the world? Well, I think we know about the CVSs and the Walgreens out there, right? I think right. that we've seen that already for several years. We have recently seen um, Amazon starting to get into you know, prescription medication, other durable medical goods and other services. You know, and an interesting example is Dollar General just recently hired a chief medical officer to explore ways to provide care to those that are in rural locations That's and kind of bridge that rural health divide. Um, mm -hmm. And what a great venue for that. They have 17,000 stores across the U.S. in what? those employees. Yeah, they're a massive organization. So yeah. I think to be able to leverage that infrastructure is a fantastic way to wow. bridge uh, that. That is fantastic. So this is an exciting time, Ken, to be in a, in, in healthcare. Uh, and really bringing in the hospitality industry to it. Because what we've been talking about today is the in-room patient experience is getting better. You can skip the uh, the lines and the paperwork, get right to it. When you're in your stay, things are easier. You control things with your voice. And then if you're fortunate enough to continue to heal at home, there's a lot more systems in place because of technology to create a positive customer experience while they can heal. Any final words today, Ken? I think as long as we're improving patient sat, patient safety and quality, I think that this is all heading in the right direction. Great. So how can we find you, sir? You can obviously email me at k.honeycut, which is H-O-N-E-Y-C-U-T-T at samsung.com. Beautiful. Well, thank you so much for being here, Ken. We really appreciate it. And remember, for all of you out there, Samsung is really the place to go for all of this amazing technology that's not just transforming 
hospitality and healthcare, but our lives as well. I'm Glenn Hausman. Thanks so much for being here and we'll see you next time.